What's going on guys? In this video, I'll be going over a quick and easy way to get a lot of money in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. And this method is actually through hunting and killing cougars. And before I get in the video, if you haven't checked out my channel before, I talk mainly about Fortnite and Red Dead Redemption 2 online and story mode tips, tips, tricks, guides, things like that. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, definitely consider subscribing. But anyways, how this glitch, or not really a glitch, how this cougar hunting farming method kind of works is you basically want to go above tumbleweed and the first spawn is going to be right there on my map. It's kind of in between like two rocks almost. The second one is going to be below that C right there <clears throat> and the third one will be above the O. And these three methods, or these three spawn points, they don't always spawn there, but uh, they usually do. So if you hit up all three of these, you're very likely going to get at least one cougar, bare minimum. And you can kind of run back and forth between all three. But anyways, I'm going to go out to the first one, see if there's a cougar there. And why hunting cougars is so like profitable and so good is because if you get a perfect cougar pelt, they're actually worth, or a perfect cougar body, they're worth 1350 So that's kind of a lot of money in Red Dead Online. But anyways, I'm at the first spot here. As you can see, I do the eagle eye, and it's actually sleeping right there. So it usually is sleeping when you run up to it. I don't think it actually matters what time of the day it is, but it's almost always sleeping. And I got a little unlucky here. That one's only a one-star cougar. So even if I brought in its whole body, it's not actually going to be worth a whole lot. Um, in some cases, if you actually see like three-star like ram or uh, deer or something like that running around, uh, this area you'd almost honestly be better just skinning them be if you can get a perfect kill on it because even if you get a perfect kill on this uh, one star cougar pelt is actually almost uh, it's not worth a whole lot but getting three star and two star are worth significantly more and pretty much more than any other animal you're going to kill uh, maybe perhaps besides a panther but this spawn is just a really good spot so as you can see right here i actually messed up um, i accidentally let the cougar um, wake up and get me but luckily it didn't kill me i've been noticing that they're not really one shot kills if you like spam circle i'm um, hard enough or b if you're on xbox but anyways um i shot the cougar it's bleeding out now so if i find another three star or two star one i'm simply just going to skin this one i'm not going to actually like carry it in with its full body and um so we're just gonna wait here for this guy to die and then i'm gonna go on to the next spots so anyways i'm picking up this guy i'm gonna throw him on my horse over there and uh, as soon as we get over there, <clears throat> I'm going to go show you guys one of the uh, other spawns that they might spawn at. I'm not 100% sure if they actually will or not. And there's other ways to do this. You could possibly do like a, you bring a, like a carriage with you or like, you know, a big carriage with like the two horses and like a big uh, bucket on the back. So you can throw a bunch of bodies in there. But I don't really like that method. I think it takes a lot of time to set up because you actually have to like run around and find the carriage. Or you could also do two horses. Um, I think that method works as well, but in this one, for you know the video's sake, I'm only doing one. And with that method as well, it's kind of a little bit annoying trying to find a second horse in town and then tame it. So it takes a little bit more time, but it can be worth it because finding two cougar bodies is actually quite profitable. But anyways, in the spawn I'm at, there's actually none here. So I'm going to go check the third spawn. And then if there's no cougars there, I'm going to loop back around and uh, hope that one ends up spawning by the time I you know, get to that third spot. Because the great part about these three spots is if you actually just keep going to them one after another, uh, one cougar is very, very likely to spawn at one of the three spots, uh, regardless of what one you're at. I've been doing this method uh, quite a bit, and that's all I've really noticed is that um, at least one cougar tends to spawn at one of these spots and if you keep going around at them long enough uh, there's going to be more than one and just another general tip with this as well if you're like running around and you're not really finding too many cougars or if you only have one like i do right now uh, sometimes if you just hunt like three star big horns or hunt some smaller animals that have like perfect pelts or three stars they can actually be a lot of money so that can actually help uh, bring up the money too Okay, so at this location, there is a cougar. I heard him, and as you can see, the little red dot, um, that means there's an enemy close by, and the cougar's right there, and perfect shot on him, a uh, perfect kill. I definitely recommend using a bolt action. Uh, if you use like a, a repeater or any other like smaller guns, it might ruin the pelt, and you might not kill it on one kill. But as you can see, this was a three-star one, so I'm gonna go ahead and skin this other one, and then throw the three-star pelt on the back of my horse. And see right here, if I had two horses or something, you know, I could have been able to cape both, but uh, I'm really not too worried about it for the sake of the video. And I think that method takes a little bit longer. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go try and to check the first spot again to just see if a cougar respawned there. Um, probably pretty likely not since there was one there beforehand, but um, I have had it respawn there before, so I'm just going to go check it out. And in this video, I'm not going to check any uh, or uh, kill any other animals or hunt any other animals just because I'm just simply showing you guys where the cougars spawn. Okay, so it looks like there's not going to be a cougar spawn here. And in general, I find if you see other animals running around where the spawn should be, it's likely that they're like the replacement spawn animal of where the cougar is supposed to be. So, you know, what, I, what I'm meaning by that is basically if there's no, if there's a bunch of animals running around, the cougar is probably not going to be spawned right there. But anyways, I'm going to go back to Tumbleweed and show you guys how much money I actually made from this. So in this instance, I only got two cougars and one was a poor pelt and one was a perfect uh cougar carcass so the carcass goes to the 1350 and the poor pelt only goes for two dollars so that's like significantly less but you get the fang and the meat as well to go along with that so it does add up to around three a little over three dollars so that's really not a bad day but anyways guys that's really it for this video i hope it was helpful let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this and if there's some other better cougar spots that you can um kill some cougars at spawn at you know things like that let me know in the comment section and other than that guys consider subscribing and liking the video if you enjoyed but other than that, guys, that is it for the video.